everybody and welcome back to another tutorial from me, Robin Goff at United Knot. I'm taking up the macrame challenge for a 30 minute plant hanger. It's going to be a plant hanger without a ringing bowl. So it's just been being cored to create the top loop for you guys to hang it. This has been made using just one knot. So it's really simple for beginners. I'm just going to walk you guys straight through it, starting with the measurements. Now that we've done the measurements, we're going to take the five four metre lumps and make sure that they are all in line with each other. And then we're going to look for the middle. We're going to take a single length that was five metres, so a little bit longer. And we're going to use the middle of that, do only one knot today, which is the spiral knot. We're just going to move on to the desk view so that you can see me doing the spiral knots. Also, we've got to set the timer. To start with, we're going to work in the middle. We're going to take our five metre length and we're simply just going to put an overhand single twist in. The same way that you'd tie a shoelace, just like so. Bring it up to the middle. Now that we've got our five metre length fastened, we're going to tie our first spiral knot. Spiral knots require you to have an L on the left hand side and to pull the length of that five meter just underneath. That way the body is going through the two bits of cord and we're pulling it tight like so. That's going to count as one. Do the same again left hand cord is on the top right hand cord is going over but then underneath and through the hole in the loop we're going to do this 30 times Now we've got 30 spirals counted from the vertical lines. We're going to go to the other end that we were working from and pick out two of the longest cords, fold in half and then bundle all of the other cords apart from those two together. And you're going to have one on the left and one on the right. We're going to tie another spiral knot. bring these together. We're going to repeat the process again, tie some more spiral knots. This time it's going to be 12 spiral knots. Okay, so full disclosure, I checked the timer, things weren't going well. That part took me 17 minutes, but I think it was because I was spending the time explaining to you guys how to get everything done. So I've gone ahead and paused the timer and done two of the arms of the plant hanger so that I can now play and show you what it should look like. So here's the top. Uh, I've moved over to the rail, just so that it's a bit easier for me to work now. Here's our 12 spiral knots and then looking down one arm one arm is four strands i'm leaving a hand-sized space tying six spiral knots leaving a hand-sized ish space tying six more spiral knots and then i'm just tying a cheeky square knot at the bottom here so here are my two arms which i'm gonna hang just over here that's why these hangers are great and then hopefully you should be able to see what i'm doing up close here so I'm comparing to the other side before I start my spiral knots. And I'm just tying five or six, depending on what looks best here. Okay, 
So I've moved things up a little bit high to try and demonstrate here. After I've tied my five to six spirals further up, I've left another hand palms width space and I'm gonna join these other knots here. Finishing off the bottom with a square knot. Square knots are a spiral knot, which is left first and then right underneath. And then instead of tying another left, we're just gonna mirror it and go right hand side, left underneath. And that is how you tie a square knot. Pulling it tight. That's in line with that. A bit further down, we're going to take two cords from the square knot, just two of them, and we're going to take two cords from the neighbouring square knot and join them together with another square knot. This is known as an alternating square knot, and that's about four or five fingers worth. It's really tricky to demonstrate this. We're going to take the two that were left over and join them like on this side together in the same way. So the same action as spiral, left and then we're going to go right to left like so. We're going to repeat this again for another row below. You'll see that it's making like a, a net shape. So we want to take two from one square knot and two from its neighbour. Or not. So repeating the process again, about the same width, fingers length. Tying some more square knots. Time is running out, last but by no means least. We've got our spirals at the top. We've got 30 spirals here. We've got 12 spirals here. Further down you come, we've got a row of six spirals. They are over hand distance from the top. Further down again, over hands distance of some more spirals. Then we've got our over hands distance row of square knots, just like that. Then we've got Four fingers worth of alternating square knots, where I've taken half of the cords from the above square knots, made another row, and then the next row down, four fingers, more square knots, and the last but by no means least step in this plant hanger pattern is just some more spiral knots. So we're gonna gather the bottom, four fingers distance. We're gonna pick our longest leftover cords, which is actually these two for me. Okay, one minute 30 left to go, and the last part is spiral knots. I'm gonna do 12 to match the top as quickly as possible, leaving a finger's length. I took two of my longest cords, not my shortest, and I've just gotta go for it. That's one. Two. Not. Number 12, stop the timer, the 30 minute make is up. Okay, I've got my pot, I've hung it, here we go. Last step is just to cut the bottom and the 30 minute make will be complete. 
This one's a little bit longer than the first one I made. If you wanna make them longer or shorter, you just need to leave less space between each section. So I've gone over a hand's width, but you could just use four fingers. And uh, if you wanna make the smaller pots, you need to do less than four fingers uh, when you're doing the alternating square knots. Last tip is for the tassels. I like my tassels pretty long, but I wouldn't say you want them too short. So I'd normally go about half the length of what I've done already. Just down to here, I'm probably gonna cut about here. Here's some finished articles for you guys. Did I make it in 30 minutes? No. Do I think you could make it in 30 minutes? Yes. Did I only use one knot? Pretty much. I used a spiral knot and I used a variation of a spiral knot known as a square knot. So I think it kind of counts. Is it easy to do macrame in 30 minutes? No. Is it easy to make a plant hanger for the first time by yourself? Yes, if you know how to do a spiral knot. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys loved it. Don't forget, if you want to see more videos like this, more macrame tutorials, you can head over to my website. It's United Knots. Dot com. There's a blog, there's full resources. You can get your light coral five millimeter, seriously soft single ply yarn. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed today's video and my macaroni challenge.